a smart network responds to two important developments. First and foremost, our energy needs will increase substantially. Electric vehicles, heat pumps and more and more electrical equipment require more electricity. As such, increased capacity of the electricity grid is required. The second development is that end users will start producing sustainable energy via distributed energy resources. For example, with solar collectors, wind turbines, bioenergy or micro cogeneration. In a nutshell, this means an increased demand for energy combined with two way traffic on the grid. Let's take a look at how a smart network will look like in practice from the user's perspective. Since it's very windy where the Joneses live, the wind turbines in their district supply a lot of energy. Thus, the local grid doesn't take any energy from the large power station, but from its own turbines. However, elsewhere in the province, there's not a breath of wind where Laura Baker lives. And because it's a cloudy day, the solar cells are supplying little energy. Computers within the smart network now monitor exactly the needs of Laura and her neighbourhood and the surplus in other parts of the area. The system now will ensure the most economic balancing of both supply and demand and, if required, prioritise energy from renewable resources.